Hey, everybody. What's up? I hope everybody's doing well. I decided to go live last minute because the Sephora sale is about to start in a few hours. And I don't know if everybody's going to get a notification or not, but hopefully you do because I miss y'all. I miss going live. That was the funnest part of 2020. Like 2020 was a mess, but uh, going live was really fun. And I miss that. Hey, Don, how are you doing? Long no talk. I have to talk to you soon. Hi, everybody. Hey. Uh, oh, hey, Hannah. I need y'all too. Hey, Ebony. Ebony, you've been asking me for Dior Quint you know, a video on that for forever. I promise you I'm going to do it, but I just have so much on my plate. I can't promise it right now, but it's going to come. I promise you. Hey, oh my gosh. Hey everybody. Yes. 2020 was a mess, but you know, I felt more connected with you all. So I miss going live. Thank you. These are from like a brand. I think it's called Firmu. Hey, yes. So tonight while we're burning the midnight oil. Like, I'm not going to be on here until midnight or anything like that because it's only 9.15 where I am. So in the meantime, I wanted to just talk about what's in my cart because I don't have my official Sephora VIB video up yet. I don't have that up. I won't have that up until tomorrow. Hey, good to see you too. It's good to be seen. I'm doing good. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey. Hey, Purplelicious. I like the Patrick's Hot Eyeshadow Palette, especially if you can get a little sum sum off of it. Thank you. Oh, I miss y'all too. Yeah, what's on your list? We'll talk about some of the perfumes that I'm thinking about. Hey, Christy, love you too. I hope you've been good. Hey, Sarah. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. So I have been trying to get back into the groove of posting content. It's been a lot on my plate, oh my gosh, but I try to at least post once a week, twice a week. This week I've been doing a lot of posting and from here on out until the end of the year, probably top of next year, it's gonna be videos for me. So y'all make sure y'all are watching my videos, but I just wanted to check in and do some talking about the Sephora sale. Um, I actually was playing around with trying to stream with my camera but it turns out I don't have the right USB. I have the wrong, okay, let me show y'all what I have real quick before we get into Sephora. I have this. I bought this last year to go with my camera. Shoot, and then I have this. This works with this, but this doesn't work with my new camera. I actually have a new camera that works with my old camera. So that essentially is useless to me. So my new camera, it, it goes, it lets me stream with just the camera. I don't have, a, I have to have a separate thing. So I'm going to do more lives and try to figure that out. Okay, so let's talk about Sephora. Let's just talk about it because the sale is starting. You guys, I don't have a whole lot that I might get. I actually am going to probably be on my best behavior that I've ever been on just with moving and stuff like that and furnishing, and furnishing a new place. It's fancy. <laughs> So I'm probably going to be on my best behavior and not do too much this year. But you know, I got to buy something. So we'll see. I'll talk to y'all about what I have. Hey, yes. A good exfoliating product? I don't know. I haven't exfoliated with a physical exfoliator in so long. I really don't have one that I can just say, yes, that's it right now. Anybody else want to weigh in? Thanks, Dawn. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you, Christy. Have I shot? Oh, Dawn. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Good to know. All right. So let's get into Sephora because that's what's coming up tonight. If you are Rouge, let me see the dates because I screenshotted it. I screenshotted it just in case anybody wanted to know. Sephora. Mm, mm what I need to do too. Just let it go. But am I going to? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I've been pretty, I've been pretty good. I mean, I literally haven't bought that much stuff. I mean, y'all know I stay up and buy, you know, the most relevant stuff, but it's just like, 
you know okay so let's see so sephora so if you are rouge you get 20 percent off starting today well not today tonight T tomorrow midnight <laughs> until the 15th of november if you are vib you get 15 percent off starting the 9th until the 15th and if you are an insider you get 10 percent off starting on the 11th until the 15th using the code yay holiday so I put a link to Sephora down in my description box. Now, if y'all don't know, if you shop through whoever's links you shop through, we get a commission off of the sale of whatever it is. Typically, it's, it can range anywhere from like 3 to 10% of whatever you purchase. And so that goes towards us. So whoever's link you shop through, you, sh you click it and then it goes to them as long as you don't click anybody else's link in the meantime. So I don't know how it is if you log out, but if you click it and you shop, you check out and don't click anything else, it goes to us. So if you want to shop through anybody's link, know that it supports us. And whenever I get sponsorships from Sephora or Charlotte or Pat McGrath, it is a direct reflection of how well you all are shopping through my links. If y'all don't shop through my links, I don't get no sponsorships. <laughs> So if you want to shop through my links, I appreciate it. So let's see. Hey, Ty. Oh, you to the people scrub. Okay, good recommendation. I don't know. Have I used their scrub? I can't remember. Orbe needs, oh my gosh. Orbe, I love their moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. I just got their uh, scalp scrub and scalp conditioner or scalp serum. I haven't tried it yet. But I'm very excited to. I also really like their spray that you use that's a heat protectant. I have to figure out the exact name and tell you. The Patrick Ta palette is back in stock right now. Okay. Let's see. Blush palette. I like the Patrick Ta one. The NARS one. I haven't used it. That's why I'm blinking. I'm like, did I use that NARS one? <laughs> I haven't used it, but I have it. Rouge starts at midnight today, or probably it starts at 11, honestly. So it probably starts at 11 Central Standard Time. That's what it did last time. Yeah, Patrick, too, I think it's restocked. Thank you. Yes, you, you have to click the link and then it goes to us. So a lot of people say, oh my gosh, I love all your recommendations. I went to the store and I bought it all. That's amazing for you, <laughs> but that doesn't go to us. Um, or if you say, oh my gosh, I, I used your link, but also I clicked somebody else's link. Well, it went to them. So that's how that goes. But it's all good. You can spread the love. I'm just telling y'all because I don't think a lot of people know what the link consists of, like what the link is all about. No, I can actually make a separate link for Sephora Canada. Good one, Christy. Thanks. Yes. Sponsorships are directly correlated with how much you can bring them in because <laughs> it's like if you they can't get a return on their investment they're not gonna work with you hey i love your profile picture i've been okay thank you for asking oh, i'll have to do a video on that in the meantime firm move they're so old they're at least 10 years old not they're not that old they're like five years old okay oh thanks I went to Sephora briefly, and that's it. Love Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury blushes, but a lot of them are lighter. So if it looks light on the picture, it's light in person. Okay, so let me go into what I have in my cards. So let me share a screen. Share a screen. Chrome tab. Share. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, no, it really means a lot. Like, I think that y'all are just used to hearing people say it means a lot. But no, it really means a lot. <laughs> yes, I will definitely do it. No, you are. You are. Because Westman Atelier sticks are the bomb. They are. Okay. So hold on, y'all. Hold your, hold your questions. Hold your questions. I'm going to come back to you. Okay. So Sephora. Let's talk about what I have in my cart. And there's this new fragrance brand on Sephora's website that I've never smelled anything from. But I am very, 
very, very interested in it. See, I don't know if I'm going to buy this. Oh, oh, never mind. They have the 3.4 ounce left. I'm like, what? Where? Where's this size? <laughs> I want that size, perhaps, because I've never tried anything from them. But I'm very interested in this. The brand is 19 dash 69. The scent is Rainbow Bar Eau de Parfum. The highlights are that it's a woody and earthy scent. It's unisex and it's layerable. And then some of the key notes are war wood. I have no clue what that is. Fresh basil and cedar wood. That sounds like something I want. It says it is evocative of the 1980s glam era in LA. I think this is probably going to be right up my alley. It sounds like something that I would like. Has anybody ever smelled or tried anything? Foundations for oily skin. Estee Lauder double wear for sure. It really depends on what type of finish you want and how much coverage. Dawn. I don't know. Let me get back to you on that one. I got to find it. Um, oh, did you? But you know what? It might re unrestock. So it's just better to have it if you really, really want it. Really? $600. Uh. <laughs> um, let's see. Yes, I am planning to teach more Kelbell U courses. Anybody who wants to enroll in Kelbell University can always contact me at kelbelluniversity at gmail.com. I can leave that down below. Oh my gosh. I think I want to do more videos like that in 2022 for sure. Because my sneaker collection is kind of stupid. Like, I, like. <laughs> do they have a sample pack? Let's go look at this brand 19-69. And look at that. They do. Good idea. Okay. So they have in the sample pack. Yep. Purple Haze. Capri. Cashba. Cashba? I don't know. Rainbow Bar. And then I'm not going to even attempt the next one. And then Invisible Post in La Habana. That actually is the best idea anybody has ever given me ever. Oh, but it says email me when coming in stock. It's like, when is it going to be in stock? I need to try that. That's an amazing idea. Thank you so much. I didn't even think about that. My mind just immediately goes to buy the full thing, buy the biggest one. Why? <laughs> oh, did you? See, I can't remember exactly what that smells like. That's blue, right? It's a blue fragrance. It's like I remember smelling it, but I don't. It's a newer brand there. What foundation is good for a photo shoot? You know, I'm really still liking. I'm really still liking that KBD Good Apple. That's some flawless stuff. What do you use to slick your hair in place? Is it gel or oil or water or a combo? It is water and then a little bit of gel. And I only can slick my hair down when it's um, dirty. <laughs> so it has to be a few days old. Okay. Yes. So I want to try them out. Yes. Come on. Kelbell University at gmail.com. Let's do it. I can probably squeeze in some classes before the end of November if anybody seriously wants to take some. December might be a little hectic for me, but November, I'm pretty sure I can squeeze in some classes if y'all want to take some for real. I'll leave my email address down below. Oh, thank you. It's so sweet. They do. The sample pack. I need it to be in stock. Hey, so gorgeous. Okay, wait. Let me see. Sneakers, girl. I have a new obsession. I was like, I'm never buying Yeezys. Which of Yeezys made you not, you know, go against your grain? Did you get the confetti Yeezys? <laughs> thank you. What hair care are you picking up? Nothing. I literally don't even have any space in my bathroom. I have no more space. So whatever I run out of later on in, you know, whatever month I do, I'll just pay full price because I, I don't have any more space. So I, I have to be better. I love KVD Good Apple. I think that's pretty. Hey, Audra. Okay, I'll try not to be too loud. Maybe I will do an ASMR. <laughs> 
How much are the classes for makeup? It depends on which one you do. I have different classes for different things. So whatever you want to learn, it's a separate category. Or if you just want to do full face, that's a separate price too. Email me and I'll send you the price list. I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> All right. So that is top of the top of the list. I really want to try that fragrance brand 1969. And I probably will get the discovery set. Next, I am kind of kind of wanting this lip pencil. Okay. I went into the store and I swatched them. In the shade that looks closest to something that I would like is Travis. And it is a milk chocolate brown. I did not take a picture of the swatch in the store. <laughs> well, I could have, but you know what? I really, really thought it had a nice consistency and it had a nice pretty color. Hi, Belinda. Wayne Goss uses Drunk Elephant Exfoliating Body Lotion for his face. It has 10% AHA. At $25 for an 8-ounce bottle, you are saving a lot of money for your face. You are. But the thing is, is that he just told everybody the secret. So now they're going to go up on the price. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, to think of little things like that, that's always something that you want to keep in your back pocket in case you need to get something for the low. Any skincare. I'm not buying, I'm not buying any skincare. I don't have anything I need. I have all the cleansers, makeup removers, moisturizers, all of that stuff. So probably no skincare. <laughs> I wish I slept like a rod. The smallest little sound, the slightest sound. My favorite perfumes. Oh my gosh, I have so many. It depends on the day. It depends on the season. Right now though, like for fall, I still am rocking very, very heavy with Killian. Hold on, let me show you. Y'all, I'm so sorry to be sniffling. I'm sniffling. Angels share. I love me some angel share. It's unlikely for something that I would like, but honestly, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. And it is just everything. It smells like fall in a bottle. I didn't pick up anything on Pat's sale because I own everything I already want. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. But if you are wanting some Pat stuff and you can get a better deal on her website, I would say shop on her website as opposed to Sephora. Only get get the best deal. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just the beauty room tour. You know, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Christy. I don't know about that one. Ooh, I love StockX. That is a savior for when you missed out on something because the bots bought up everything. That's amazing. I cannot wait to see you rock them on the internet. Yes, I do do group classes. Raven. Okay, yes. Let's talk about this Natasha Denona face palette. Because I already have ordered them. I was about to say, now I know you know what I'm talking about because when you type something in on Sephora's website, sometimes it just acts really funny. So it says it's available online 11 2. So I guess it is sold out right now. Maybe they'll bring back some more for the event when it starts. But I bought both of them. They should be on my doorstep tomorrow. I bought the light one. That's what that looks like because I feel like this really would work for me. And then I bought the deep one just for video purposes because i don't know i might like this one too we'll see we'll see are you all getting that Ooh, i have that i need to use it before it goes bad yes what skincare would i recommend i love tatcha that is probably my number one brand that is sold at sephora and i love la mer and that's like, oh, you to the people. That was, those are my brands. Everything else, it might be one-offs, but full brands, those are my brands. Yep, Tiny Marvels is restocking on November 12th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So mark your calendars if you are wanting to get it. Um, Heather, the owner of Sydney Grace, or one of the owners of Sydney Grace, 
She said that no coupons are going to work on the sale of that palette because she's going to give a little bit extra to Mel's family for the sale of that. So no coupons will work. Thanks, Christy. I know I needed to probably get more concealer too, but I didn't. Because I think she'll probably do something else for Black Friday. Ooh. Probably Divine Rose too would be like the pivotal to start with Pat McGrath palette. I'm getting the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Space Quad. Okay. Some Polish Choice Skincare and the Valentino Donna Born in Roma Perfume. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know why it skips me down. I don't know because I didn't look at it. I don't, it's like I seem like, seems like I don't normally get them, but I look. It really is. Angel Share is so good. See, I need to spray on Lost Cherry. I honestly almost never buy Tom Ford fragrances, but let me show you the new one that kind of has peaked my interest. I don't know the name of it. Let me see. Sephora. Thank you. Because I was about to say, you know what Tom Ford perfume is. Okay. So here we go. I don't know how to pronounce it. I believe it's Evine Fume Eau de Parfum. If it's not, do not come for me. <laughs> but the notes are Palo Santo Wood Accord, African Ebony Wood Accord, and Rose. I don't know. I feel like I might like that one. That might be the one. I'll keep you posted on it, Raven. I find that if you like one of Pat's bundles and you use one of the codes, you and the other girls buy one out for 10%, you get like 25% off that. I mean, if you have some money that you can do that with. I really like the new Patrick Ta blush palette. I think it's beautiful. I have it on right now. Videos first. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, because they look completely different. It's not like the lighter one is literally just a lighter variation of the darker one. To me, it looks like two different palettes. So I think it's justifiable to want both. Yes. Yes. Happy 50th. Yes. yes. When I turn 50, I'm celebrating my birthday for like two years. <laughs> See, okay. I have the Gucci eyeshadow palette. Oh, eyebrows palette. <laughs> Eyebrows palette. They have an eyebrows palette or did you mean eyeshadow? But yeah, that Tom Ford fragrance, that might, that might be the one. Let's see. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Can't you see? Yeah, I really love Gucci Beauty. I actually have in my cart this right here. I want this 713 Dorothy Turquoise Nail Polish. I kind of want that. Y'all like Lost Cherry. I need to smell it again. You haven't? <sighs> Honestly, the only brand I feel like that has way better sales on their website is probably Armani. Armani Lancome. Laura Mercier. Pat McGrath. That's a lot of brands. I'm naming a lot of brands. Um... <laughs> I think that's it. The brands that you are going to get your biggest bang for your buck from from the Sephora sale will probably be Gucci, Dior, Gucci, Dior, hmm, Givenchy. Basically, the designer brands because they don't have sales like that. Except for Armani. Armani has a lot of sales. Sometimes you can get stuff 40% off. I watch him, but I find that I have opposite tastes from him. But I, he's very knowledgeable. But we don't like the same sense, I don't think. Uh-oh, I think my comments froze. There we go. Eyeshadow. Okay, okay. We're talking about eyeshadow. Okay, let me show you this Gucci. I was going to film with this tonight. I don't think I have it in me for today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so I haven't touched it yet, but I can tell you right now, this packaging is the sh It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But um, these colors in here, 
I don't know. Maybe I should have waited to buy it during the event. But impatient me. Hey, hey, uh, I'm good. How are you? Yes. Yay, which one? Hey, Lorraine, thank you. Love right back to you. Yes. But those, like, to me, that's so, that's so, being so patient. You know what I'm saying? It's like with the other brands, maybe even Tasha, they'll have a better sale on their website sometimes and it's more frequent. Yeah, just had a sale. She'll probably do another one for Black Friday for sure. Lemare, does Lemare have a better deal on their website or do they just give samples on their website? Let's see. Yeah, maybe you'll have better luck in store. Ooh, I love it. Hourglass, yeah, they are. But I feel like they have some stuff on their website sometimes. The blue, the eyeshadow that's on my eyes now is the Anastasia Primrose palette. And I actually filmed a tutorial. And so I'll have that at probably Saturday. It's super pretty. Yeah, red lipstick is boss. Mm. I'm not gonna watch any reviews until I do my review. That's how I am. I, I don't like watching anybody else's opinion on any products until I can try it and form my own opinion. And then I'll go and watch somebody else's. Yeah, I love Good Apple. But it's like a cur learning curve to it. You cannot use a lot because it's very heavy. And also, you want to set it. I will never buy the Guerlain Media Rights Illuminating Powder Pearls because I don't like pearls. <laughs> So I don't care how pretty they are. Pearls make my flesh crawl, so I won't buy them. <laughs> hey, I would say it's better to get get it if you can at the CCO. I think that Tom Ford is more readily, becoming way more readily available at the CCO and not just old stuff, like new stuff. You don't even have to wait that long to get it. But then La Mer, I think sometimes that stuff can be a little bit older. So you have to you have to be careful. But if you can get something from the CCO 50, 60% off, I mean, to me, it doesn't even make sense to pay a full price. Jamila says she gets hers from CCO. I like the Patrick Ty palette a lot. The eyeshadow palette is really pretty. If I had to choose anything from the Sephora sale this year. I think the hot item is going to be the Patrick Ta blush palette. I think that's going to be the it item. But if I had to choose one thing, I don't know. It depends on what, what, you, what you are interested in. This is Patrick Ta's eyeliner. Love his eyeliners. I love Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. Love it. Now, I will say, though, if you want to hold off and try to get it from Pat's website, you might can get it for 30%. But you know what? If not, if you needed to have it now, then I would just go ahead and do it. I'm going to wait for Natasha to Denona to sell. Yeah, I got you. I'm always sad when there's bad reviews and things. It, it just is. You know, I don't get sad when somebody doesn't like something that I love just because we all are so different. We all have different skin. We live in different climates. We have different tastes. We are different ages. You know, all of that plays a factor into why people don't like stuff that they like. So don't take it personally. Sometimes I think people do take it a little too personally, especially like if I post a review on a product that maybe everybody likes, but I don't like it. A lot of people try to come down hard and say, no, like you're just using it wrong. It's like, no, I just don't like it. So don't take it personally. Is there a way to link support to Rakuten? Hmm, what do you mean? Um, you can use your Rakuten. Are you saying, can I link Sephora to Rakuten? Tell me what you mean. Yeah, best deals. CCO is cosmetic company outlets. They are in the outlet malls. I forgot what they call the outlet malls now. It used to be the premium outlets. I don't think they're called that anymore. <laughs> but they have this store with, that's owned by Estee Lauder. And they send older, sometimes not even really older cosmetics there. And you can get a better deal. So it's essentially a makeup outlet store. No, pearls have always creeped me out. It's something about the rolling and the little holes in the circle. Ugh. No. Yes, I've tried the Patrick Todd blush palette and I like it. Y'all see every other comment about this Patrick Todd blush palette? That's going to be the hot item. 
Yeah, Mac is super cheap. I remember back in the day when you missed out on a limited edition Mac collection and it was so sad, but then it would magically pop up at a CCO. Yo, that was the score. Danessa is stunning. I typed Chelsea and got $25 off. I don't even think it might be her coat. I don't know. Does Chelsea have a call with Janessa Myers? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't have one. Nobody has made a good purple palette. <laughs> Everybody makes pink palettes and puts a purple in there. <laughs> yeah, people get very upset. They take it very personally. And I'm like, yo, it's just makeup, different opinions, not hurting anyone. You're not hurting anyone. <laughs> I just don't like the same thing. Hi, smooches. Yeah, makeup reviews are just to get a variety of opinions. It doesn't have to be the final opinion. Just like sometimes when I do my reviews, I have to remind people, like, even if I don't like it, don't let me deter you from getting it. If you had your heart set on getting it, you can still get it and try it. And it might be your favorite thing ever. But I'm just telling you how I feel about it. And you can take that information and maybe keep it in your back pocket. Maybe you can use it for next time. But you know, don't get upset. I don't. I'm guessing probably 11. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Lisa Eldridge's new foundation. I actually, where? I don't know where my Lisa Eldridge package is. <laughs> I need to try it and see what shade I am. Okay. No, I can't link uh, to Sephora on Rocky Time. So I think if you use the cashback. Uh, website so rock with Khan or top cashback or go cashback then it negates our our links i think i'm not gonna tell you not to use your links and use you and get your cash back because i'm gonna get my cash back but i will say that if you want to make an order and support us meaning us the beauty influencer community and use our links i think you do have to shop directly without getting cash back I think. I, I don't know that for sure, though. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Nope, I haven't tried that line. What do you like from them? I know Michelle Wong likes their line a lot. Tanger. That's what they call the outlets now. See, I don't have that near me. We used to have a CCO in Nashville, but that whenever Nashville flooded and Opry Mills Mall closed back in like 2010, it never came back. I like it, but to me, it's not really a purple palette. It's one shade in there and it's lavender. Oh, you're talking about the volume five. It's cool. It's all right. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. We are each different, exactly. You are so lucky that you are rouge, girl. Let's not act like I didn't spend the money to get there. <laughs> the new Sephora is not handing out rouges like that. They want you to spend that money. <laughs> I mean, that's the benefit of it, but we definitely earned it. You like half of it? Yeah, Violette Itondu is very beautiful. But again, it's like two purples. I want a a real purple palette. And it's just not, there, there's not one. Any Sephora collection recommendations? I like their brushes a lot. Um, I know a lot of people like their powder. I found it to be a little bit warm for my personal taste, but the formulation is really nice. Right, exactly. And a lot of people like different scents, different strokes for different folks. All right, let me see. How about Natasha Denona Leela as a purple? You know what? Y'all think I'm playing when I say it's no purple palettes. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Because I think y'all think palettes are more purple than they are. Okay? So this is Natasha Denona Leela. How many purples are in here? This is 15 palette. This is 15 eyeshadows in here. How many purples are in here? Three. So only one fifth of the palette is purple. <laughs> if you take out, hold on. If you take out this row, 
we have no longer a purple palette. Do y'all see that? And that's not fair. No other palette color story limits you like that except for purple. Everybody else's palette has like these pinks, neutral gray. Like how is that purple? It's only three purple shades. And one of them is so like pewter. That's not a purple palette. That's a palette with a purple in it. You get me? You feel me? Y'all feel y'all y'all see what I'm saying? It's a palette with purple in it. But is there a purple palette out there? No. <laughs> All right, let me see. Yes, it's missing some things. I got this from TJ Maxx a while ago. Okay, I don't have that one. I need to go look that up. Yeah, because y'all because y'all don't believe me when I say it's not a purple palette out there. Ain't no purple palette. <laughs> uh, yes, there are no real purple palettes. <laughs> right it's like every time i do it it's like uh, and i renew mine real early in the year too looks like it because it's just not one out there and if it's one the formulation just is not there there needs to be a real purple real purple and i thought like oh when i saw that urban decay was coming out with the prince collection i was like yes and then i saw it i was like <sighs> Anyways, all right, y'all, let me get back into Sephora because I know y'all are like, okay, so what else is on your list? Because I did not talk about what's on my list like that in my video. I just kind of focused on my recommendations because I really don't have that much stuff on my list. So speaking of Anastasia, hold on. Hold on. What do you all think about these chroma sticks? Wait a minute. There we go. What do y'all think about these? I am kind of interested. This color is pretty. If they are anywhere as vibrant as they look on this picture, I need to have a few of those. I need to have a few of those, okay? Right? I don't feel like that was that long ago. <laughs> right. Listen, speak it into existence, because I, I have ideas. Because all day, every day, a lot of people are always writing comments online, like, oh my gosh, like, there's no more new ideas. There's nothing left that can be done in the beauty community. I'm like, no, there actually is a lot. <laughs> there's a lot lacking. There's a lot. So, yes, to create my own would be amazing. I do, too, because wood pencils last longer than any type of pencil that's in a plastic contraption. Yes, they give us, they give us mauve. They give us mauve. They give us pink. They give us a little bit of like a lavender gray. Yeah. yeah, it's almost there. Let's get it exactly. It needs to happen. Really? Okay, let me check that out. No, to me, these look more matte, Ebony. Probably not, Kim, because even at, at best, I think Anastasia would have 25% off. So I would just go ahead and get it from Sephora if you wanted something. Brow freeze. Anastasia has been coming out with a lot of stuff. Hey, Takesha. Yeah, so I'm interested in those, kind of. We'll see. I might get one. Let's see. What else do I have in my little cart? I just honestly, like, that's about it. Let me see. I'm trying to scroll to see if there's anything else I want. Let's look on the new page and let's see what's interesting. 
Okay, so Charlotte actually reached out and sent me this little duo. Where's the Pillow Talk mascara and eyeliner in Pillow Talk? I think that's cute, especially for a little stocking stuffer. Um, Pat McGrath, the blush trios. I would say, and I don't know if you all saw my Pat McGrath video that I did, but basically if you already have all of her single blushes, you don't need that unless you just, you know, travel all the time like that. I mean, we're golden. So it's like top, top and mauve do nothing for us. Do nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I need to go look at it. Let's go look at it, Natalie. Well, hold on. Let, hold on. Hold that thought, Natalie. Okay. Um, Hourglass, the lightning edit face palette. Womp, womp. <laughs> I have this NARS cheek palette. I haven't used it. I have this Charlotte Tilbury palette. I think it's very beautiful, but I haven't used it. <laughs> I, I'm still I'm still working through stuff on my desk, you guys. I have a lot to do. This one is the darker version. I think this one is definitely prettier than the lighter version for sure, but I don't feel like I need to have it. My personal mantra for hourglass is it's like if you have two or three, you have pretty much all of them because they all look the same. I think this is a cute little set with the Olaplex. I love Olaplex hair care. That's one of my favorite brands, too, because it really, really helps your hair become strong. All right, you guys, let's talk about this Huda Beauty palette. Let me go through some comments, and then we're going to talk about this Huda Beauty. Let's see. Do you think everything will sell out this week before VIB week? Yep, it always does. <laughs> it always does, and some of the stuff trickles back in and out, in and out. So if you're VIB... Most of, most of the time, you're going to have to make a few purchases separately because almost everything that you want is not going to be in stock at one time. That's a good deal, Angie. It's only 30 something dollars, like closer to 30 than 40. And then if you can get whatever percentage off, you know, if you wanted that palette, I think that was a good one. I probably won't do a house tour, but I'll do a beauty room tour. I don't know. Maybe she didn't want them to have it on the site for this sale. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah. Pillow Talk is pretty. It's just really soft and it's pink. I love the Pat McGrath Foundation for sure. That NARS one is in my car. It's pretty. <laughs> you know, sound effects. Hey, girl. Hey. I don't know what y'all talking about. It's enough for the hoodie. She could have kept that one. Mm, interesting. Would I do? Yep. Yep. I'll do that one day. I'm not going to do that before the year is over. I'm almost for certain. I have like, I have, I have some videos that I have to do before the year is over. And basically I have to film every day and up until like Christmas. <laughs> it starts today if you're Rouge or tonight. Very pretty. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah, we had it in our Sephora. You think they're overpriced? You're torn if you should order online or go in store. Well, as I was saying, if you order online and you shop through my link or whoever your favorite is to support them, we do receive a small commission. So if you want to shop online and shop through our links, it does help our channels. It helps us because it helps support our channels. But if you go in store, I get it too, because it's nothing like going in the store and being able to swatch and play. But I'm just saying. Um, well, you know, brands always are trying to figure out a way to basically produce sim something similar. Maybe y'all don't notice a little bit and they can cut a corner. Yeah, very pretty. All right, so the Rose Quartz eyeshadow palette. I think for obvious reasons that you all probably know, I'm not interested in it. Um, and based on some of the comments that I've just gotten and saw from you all, you all probably aren't either. Let me zoom in a little bit. What do you all think about this? Uh, hold on, hold on, y'all. This is my mama calling me. Hello? I told you I was going live, sis. Yes, I only have been on here for 45 minutes. Yes. Oh, wow.
Oh, well, I'm going to put you on speakerphone and you say, hey, because I'm literally on live. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, say hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> they I say hey. <laughs> She's walking from the gym to her car. So hey, I just had to get it in. I just had to get it in. What all did you do with the uh, gym? Oh, my God. Well, I... I, I did two miles on the track. Mm -hmm. I did the elliptical and I sat in the steam room. Wow. Wow. Yes. yes. That's cute. I'm, like, uh -huh. I'm excited. Yes. You back at it. I'm back. I'm back by popular demand. Woohoo! Girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Yes, and I thank y'all for keeping me safe and keeping me company while I walk to the car. Are you in the car? I am. Okay. We're and I'm about to go home and guess and guess what I'm gonna do when I get home. Work out some more. One hundred setups. Girl, she when she gets into working out, <laughs> it's a wrap. Yes. She is what's that what's that man's name that wears the spandex? Rick Rick. <laughs> What's his oh, name? Oh, Richard. Rick Ross. Goodbye. <laughs> Rick Ross, really? I, I mean, I, I know who you're talking about. Uh, Rick, what was his name? His name was Richard. Richard. But it's not Richard Pryor. No. It's not Ri Richard Pryor. Who's Richard Simmons? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they Richard they Simmons. won. They won. Yes. Yes. yes Richard <laughs> Yes. That's who I am right now. Yes. <laughs> yes. And what's that other girl, the one that danced with the chair with the, you know, like sweat? You talking about maniac, you know. Uh, you talking about flash dance? Yes. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> oh, that's me. I just need you to record me. She thinks I'm her personal photographer and videographer <laughs> so bad. <laughs> You are. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, sis. We're talking about eyeshadow palettes in the Sephora oh, sale. I'm talking about working out. Well, well, now, well, you go right ahead. I'm safe and sound in my car. I thank you all again. And I look forward to seeing everybody again. We're going to have to do a collaboration, Kelsey, really soon. Yes. Yes. We got to think okay. of some ideas. We got, yes. I'll be working on it. Thanks. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yes. Yes. All right. See y'all later. Love y'all. Okay. Love ya. Love you, Kel. Bye. Love you. Bye. Ma. Huh? Text me when you get home. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, y'all, my mom is so silly. <laughs> I said, Mom, I'll call you when I'm done with my live. She's like, oh, you're still on live? What are you doing? I'm like, I just told you. I'm so glad y'all love my mama. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let me see what y'all talking about. Yes, yes, that's her. She, If she had access to the water coming down, she would do it. <laughs> um, is that for men? I think it's good. I think it's good. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm so much more calm than my mama though. My mama is always turned up. <laughs> I'm like the less like turned up version. So my sister is the turn up queen. Okay. So she's like the most hyper. And then my mama's hyper. And then I'm like really chill. <laughs> yes. But yeah, we have a lot of fun. All right. So this palette. I think this palette is just a little too pink for me. It's a little too light. Plus, this right here, this situation, I don't like it. I don't understand it. And I don't want it to be there. So I, I just don't think that I would be available to purchase this palette. Yes, I got the new Wonder Woman. I think it's so pretty. So gorgeous. No. We live some hours apart. With us some hours of us. Yeah, it's a little chalky. 
Oh, wow. Toddlers and tears. <laughs> yes, girl. We all are. We all are waiting. Yeah. I went to the store. I looked at it. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. So that's a no. Um, if y'all really wanted me to review it, I would. But I mean, personally, it's a no. Let's see. Let's look at what else is new. See, these little sets and stuff, I think that's cute for people who don't have makeup already. Or a lot of makeup. If you like this moisturizer, I think that's a good deal. I really am not really into nude sticks. I think they're okay. Um, I like this deal right here. The Sephora Best Sellers Perfume Sampler Set. Let's see what do they have in there this year. London Dream. I don't know that one. Hmm. Prada Candy. Wild Poppy. Mark Jacobs. Gucci. Flower Bomb. Black Opium. Versace. Toka. I don't know what that one is. My way. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. See, I normally buy this for my mom, my aunt, and my grandmother. They love this little set. But I think... This year, I'm not going to get it for my mom because she already has so many. She already has so many perfumes. So I'm probably not going to get it from her for her, but I probably will still get it for my grandmother. And what I like so much about it is that you can pick out from the samples which one you like and then you can go and redeem it. You see that little voucher right there? You can go and redeem it for a full size. So it's a really good value, especially because I get 20% off. I like to get them during this event. And... Uh, and be able to save a little bit of extra. And that's, I mean, it's an amazing deal for a gift. Personally, I don't have a lot of scents in here that I feel like I need to add to my collection because my collection is like really, like I, I, I kind of like what I like. And so to kind of be stuck into having to pick from 10 that are scents that have been around for a while, I probably wouldn't want it. Or somebody you know that has so many fragrances, they probably don't want it. But like your, your people who don't buy fragrances that often, it's a really fun experience for them. They like to go through and smell it all. I think it's a good gift. Oh my gosh. Yes. Every time this song comes on. That's her song. She loves them. <laughs> good night. Talk to you later. Yeah. That's not how YouTube works sometimes, though. So sometimes you got to add your, your you got to throw your hat into the pile. But I'm really not that into it. Ooh. Bobby Brown is an over underrated brand these days. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're being so good. Okay. I know. When they change names, it's like they're changing things. I don't know. All right. So there's that. And then let's see. So they have one for women and they have one for men. I get one normally for my granddaddy too. They love it. Dyson Airwrap. I love this. It's so pretty. They had one in my store and my girl was trying to get me to buy it. She was like, it's the only one left. I'm like, girl, I bought one last year. I will not be buying this for the new color. <laughs> However, I do like my Dyson Airwrap. Do I use it as much as I use like my regular flat iron and my Dyson dryer? No, I don't. But I do like it for when I want a low maintenance, you know, non-damaging style. But I don't want my hair to just be, you know, air dried. It's close to it. This is what I like. My Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. I use this every other day. That is my favorite investment for my hair that I have made. I love how sleek it gets my hair. I don't feel like it burns it, but it dries it really fast. So I really enjoy my Dyson. Um, I don't know why it's on the new page. <laughs> All right. I know y'all want to talk about this again. That is the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Blush Palette. I actually have it right here. Let's talk about it. It starts today for or tonight for rouge i'll actually put the details in the description box i actually closed my p.o box christy did you send me something 
I hope you didn't. I, I closed it. I closed it. I closed my PO box and I opened up a new box, but I didn't put the information in my description box just because nobody was sending me anything to it. So I was like, okay, let me just close it and then just take it out. So I took all that information out of my description box. Not that anybody needs to send me anything. It's just nobody was. So it's like, let me just take it out. Um. Okay. Oh, I love Westman Atelier. I'm going to just say Westman Atelier, their products to me kind of supersede this one, but I do like this one. All right. So here we go. Patrick Ta. So we have the cream and we have the powders down here. I know y'all probably want to see big because y'all are like into this. This is going to be the hot item for the sale. So let me do some swatches. Okay. So here we go. This shade. They're very sheer, the creams. So you can layer them. So we have cream and then we have the powder. Now, let me tell y'all, the last time when I reviewed a Patrick Ta palette, he did a powder first and then the cream on top. I don't know if he, that's his technique for this product or not, but in all my makeup years, <laughs> it's always cream and then powder first. So I don't know which one he recommends, but, you know, the last time he did do powder first and then cream. So that was the first set. This is the cream version the top is the cream versions of the same color at the at the bottom uh oh it's hard to look right here at the same color at the bottom the darker version i mean the powder version it's pretty and these are blushes normally blushes do not swatch well so and then here's that one okay and then this Super buildable, very, very velvety. I really think this is a beautiful, beautiful blush palette and it will work for a variety of complexions. I think it's really pretty. Phew. It's okay, Melly Makeup. I'll leave this up for a while. Hey, y'all. Hey. Okay, let me show you all, because I put on the pink blush in my video that I filmed today. I'll put on some more. Excuse me. <gasps> it's really poppy. You can go in with the light hand or you can do the most. Like what I just did. That's what that color looks like. And then this one. Like, they go in if you want them to. Or if you want it to be more toned down, you can. And then this one. Like, they can get really intense. Or you don't have to do the most. You can go in with the lighter hand. But I'm just saying, however you want to do it, it can be done. I like the palette more than I like the singles. It seems like... The palette's formulation is even better, but I really like my singles too. Oh my gosh, I love my Dyson. That's my favorite. Well, you know, if it don't do it for you, just don't. Hey, Sharon, my blue lady. Thank you, Dawn. Yeah, they're really intense. Yeah, super pretty. Hey. Thank you, pretty distracted nails. Yeah. Oh, that sounds interesting. Ooh, she loud. I like his blushes because they pack pigment. Yeah. It's serious. Everything. Oh, thanks. Um, it's very pretty. Yeah, the palette is gorgeous. I definitely think. That is what's going to sell out first. So there's that. I recommend everything from Westman Atelier. I actually have a video about Westman Atelier. I think you should watch it. Because <laughs> I talk about it. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Let me see. 
Kelsey Westman. Y'all can always Google or use the YouTube search and type in Kelsey, K-E-L-S-E-E, -E -E, and whatever you want to know, and it'll pop up. You got to type in Kelsey, though, because some of y'all walk around here calling me Brianna. And um, my name is definitely Kelsey. Brianna's my middle name. <laughs> so if you call me Brianna, I'm not going to turn around. <laughs> if you see me out and about, like you go, Brianna, Brianna. I might not know you're talking about me, <laughs> but if you say Kelsey, if you type in Kelsey on Google, I'll pop up. So look, let me show y'all. Let me show you. Excuse me. Let me share screen. <laughs> share screen. Chrome tab. Kelsey, share. There I am. I uploaded up, it six it's months Kelsey ago. And I talked all about West Penitelier stuff. And I love West Penitelier. So definitely watch that video and you can get more insight into the brand as a whole. I pretty much talked about everything. The foundation, the bronzers. I mean, whatever you want to talk about, I talked about it. Let's see. I talked about that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. My mom's wedding was at the beginning of the month. It was really fun. She had a 49ers themed wedding. And uh, she celebrated. <sighs> he just got confused in that one video. <laughs> um, she celebrated at the house so it was really fun but it was a lot because i was like the wedding coordinator i was the photographer the videographer i was the wardrobe hair like uh sound technician it was a lot yeah wayne wayne called me brianna in that video i think he was overcome with the emotion but my name is kelsey <laughs> um let's see Let's see. Yes, yeah, Kelsey Brianna J. That's it. I have not tried it, and I'm probably not really interested in drawing it early. So yes, I was wearing all the hats. So I was running around all day because my I told y'all I don't live close to my mom, so I drove like to get there a few hours. So I got there, got right to it, worked until like three, four o'clock in the morning. And the next day I got up, seven o'clock, got right to it, worked all day. And you know, you have, you're trying to have fun in between there too. But I was like facilitating. So it's like, I'm trying to get everything all together. And um, I worked really hard until like three or four o'clock in the morning. And then the very next morning I had to get up at like four or five o'clock in the morning and drive back to where I live because it was Mel's Memorial. So that was a really hectic weekend. So in between there, you know, it was fun. And then it was that. So that was a lot. But it was really good to be able to celebrate that with my mom and help her have the wedding of her dreams, her 49ers dreams. So, yeah. Okay. Yes. I actually have tried their new stick foundation and cream to powder foundation. And I have it on right now. And I like both of the products, both of them. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was insane. I got them from Firmu years ago. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Fashion Fair uh, is an older brand. It was around back in the 60s, 70s, but it got discontinued and they brought it back to Sephora. Perhaps I will add that to the list of something to do for 2022. But yep, that's everything that I have in my cart, on my wish list, what I'm getting from Sephora. I don't really have a whole lot more that I'm going to buy just because I have a lot of makeup. Unless they come out with something new and new launches. But other than that, I'm kind of good. So like I said, I will have a link to Sephora down in the description box. So if you all shop through that link, I do get paid a percentage of that sale. 
And also it shows Sephora that my audience supports Sephora and they support me supporting Sephora. And so that's how you get sponsorships because they see like, oh, well, this person gets these people, get the, gets these people to buy something. So hmm, maybe we should work with them because they align with our brand. Oh, hey, Kyle. Have I ever seen you before? Are you new here? Yes, hit that link, hit that link. And then I'll put one for Canada. Yes, yes, yes. As soon as I get off here. Yes, and make sure you like the video. A lot of people have makeup burnout, honestly, and it happens. I've had makeup burnout several times in my life. But, you know, it's truly my passion. So even when I have burnout, I give myself a minute, don't buy anything, and just kind of chill. And then it comes back around. It comes back around. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, and that's that goes with any link, honestly. Any link that you post, brands are going to take notice that you are driving sales for their company because it's a business exchange, honestly. So it, one, supports your favorite influencer directly because it shows that you all are receptive to getting the links in your shopping and you're, you know, taking the advice and recommendations of us. But it also shows brands, hey, look, this person has a loyal fan, fan base of people who will shop through them. So that's always amazing. Good night. You're welcome. Have a good day at work tomorrow. And happy shopping, you guys. Let me know what you all end up getting down below in the comment section. My Sephora recommendations video will be up tomorrow. And then I'll do the tutorial for this look probably Saturday, but I'm doing a collaboration for that video with the brand. So it kind of depends on them approving the video for that to go up. So if you pay with Klarna, you can still probably get rewards for gift cards with the links. I, I don't know how that works. Don't you know, but you can pay how you want to pay whenever you use a link. So you shop the link, and then if you want to pay with Klarna, that's still we still get credit for that. It's when you shop a link. It's when you click a link, and then you don't check out, and then you click another link. I think it goes to whoever the last link is. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I actually bought that, and mine was hard in the jar. So, I mean, in the squeeze tube, it wouldn't come out. Oh, okay. That'll be a good one. All right, you guys. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for coming and showing up last minute. I didn't prepare for this. I missed going live with you guys. So I just want to pop on and say hi. Um, I hope that you all have a good night. Stay safe. Make sure you are liking this video and all my videos that I have coming up because I have a lot of content coming up. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell and become a Kel Bell. And I will check you all in the next video. Smooches. Good night.